welcome to another youtube video hope you guys are having a great week today i want to talk about the design tools that i use so the first design tool that i use is sketch app uh, that's available only in mac so when i'm using working on my mac so i use sketch for graphic design then ui design uh, either for mobile or website and also if i want to do any like gifs uh, so i use sketch for that if i'm working on mac if i'm working on windows I know three design tools that is Adobe Photoshop, Adobe Illustrator and uh, InDesign. I use these three for different things. Suppose InDesign I use if I want to make brochures for my company, brochures or posters or any templates or postcards or anything related to text and a few images so something like a brochure or a poster or something I use InDesign because uh, it really helps in like uh, aligning very well and it helps in giving me a lot of options for text and I use illustrator for dashboards so as you might know I design dashboards and in illustrator you have this component where you can create charts uh, line chart bar chart stacked chart column chart and all sorts of chart and you can also format it and uh, color code it and stuff like that so it's really easy because you can take an excel sheet and put it on there and see the live demo so it's really cool for that because um, I create a lot of dashboards and it's very helpful. I also use it for graphic design because Illustrator is really good with vectors. So if I want to create like a logo or a font or something like that, for logo design mostly I use Illustrator. I also use it sometimes for GIFs if I'm making like vector based GIFs. Uh, for Photoshop, I use Photoshop for mostly like art, some sort of like digital painting or say GIFs if I want to make GIFs because with Photoshop uh, there is an option uh, where you can make GIFs so that's really cool about so I make stuff on Illustrator and then I place it or import it in InDesign and then I align it accordingly so Illustrator is something that I use a lot and for editing videos so I make videos and for editing them I use Premiere Pro I know you don't have to use this you can use iMovie because I have Mac uh, but I really like Premiere Pro I'm very used to it I've been using it for almost like four years now and after effects I use for GIFs so if I want to make like these mobile animations or mobile interactions I sometimes use it for my personal projects or sometimes I use it for my com uh, company's projects I use this uh, make these animations so that I might use uh, after effects it gives you like a clean finish and it almost makes it seem seamless like the way you will be interacting with your phone or your dashboard or your website you can do really cool things with after effects like when i was in school i remember i remember doing like really cool things with videos like green screen and uh, masking effect and warping and all sorts of things i've done with after effects but for now i just use it for mobile interactions and I used to use Autodesk Maya in school for 3D models and animation. I don't use it anymore. But if you want to make like uh, interactions and um, any like if you want to market something like your product or something, it's really cool to use uh, Autodesk Maya. Uh, it's a little buggy. I don't like the tool very much. I used to get very irritated with it. But it's a great tool if you want to like create animations and 3D models. There's also other tools like Blender and I think there's also like Houdini. But I think Autodesk Maya is, I, I wouldn't say the best, but it's really easy to learn and use. So I learned that. Um, and for mobile UI interactions, so if I don't want to create like complex animations and GIFs, if I just want to place uh, pages, the screens of mobiles or website, and I just want to see it flow, and actually it provides like InVision and Marvel do that for you both are free tools uh, you can go online and you can use them they are free but uh, I mean they provide a lot of interactions actually they don't provide like complex animations and stuff but they provide the bare minimum and it's really cool um, and you can also use these Marvel uh, if you create a user interaction you can embed it in your website or in your uh, blog or something like that um, other than that, I use Balsamic. So Balsamic is something that we really use a lot in our company because we create a lot of dashboards and wireframes. So for wireframing, I use Balsamic uh, just without any design layout, any colors. I mean, it's really cool for colors as well, but just a basic wireframe and storyboarding, I use Balsamic. So it's really cool. So these are the tools that I use. 
um, it's very easy to learn. There are a lot of websites. I'll leave the links down below. There is digital tutors where you can learn all these softwares and different uh, the way it works and also how you can do each effect or clip or something like that. And also you can use Linda.com and. Uh, I think there is Skillshare and Coursera, there are so many websites. Uh, if you want to learn the tools in particular, Linda.com and Digital Tutors is really very useful but you have to have subscription for that. But if you just go on YouTube, you'll find a lot of YouTube videos to each to use each and every tool. So I learned all just by YouTube videos and Digital Tutors and Linda. It's really easy to learn so I think if you just start with it, you will definitely get it. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments below know and I answer them like and share this video if you liked it and please subscribe below so that you get notified of a video every time I post it and I'll see you again next week bye